So where are we off to today? <laughs> I can't, I can't tell you, Father. But all I can tell you is that you are a guinea pig. A guinea pig? You are. Is this a, like those books, biking for dummies? <laughs> I have also got to get you that one as well. <laughs> the best place to go to to get. Uh, a new bike, I like to think so, or well, the best advice is your local bike shop. So that is exactly where we're right. going. And we're going to look at it from the perspective of someone who knows very little, should we say. Hence, you. Ta -da. Right, Carl and Dad, welcome to Friction Cycles uh, here okay. in Bristol. Now, we're going to meet up with owner Sam, one of the main salesmen, who's going to run through some tips and tricks, what you might need or not need and hypothetically get you your first mountain bike. All right. So let's head on I in. I brought the credit card, so we're, right. we're good. Thank you, Josh. Let me open the door for you, son. No, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Sam, how are you hey, doing, Hey, Rich. Rich's dad. Phil Payne. How you Phil doing? to you. Phil, Phil or Rich's dad. Whichever, yeah. Rich's dad, I don't mind. So, Sam, hypothetically, dad is looking to get his first ever mountain bike. Brilliant. Good stuff. Just the man to speak to. So I don't know if you could run through a few bits with him. Absolutely, yeah. And see if yeah. we can get him coming out of here with a, a new purchase. I've done a little bit of mountain biking. Blake has taught me, has <laughs> taken me on a few training courses. Taught you a few tricks. Yeah. So I'd like to get something, you know, of my own. Yeah. We're... Now's now's the time, to, the time. To, to get the bike and to delve into exactly. the world of, of mountain biking. Brilliant. So is Rich going to be taking you out to a few bike parks, do you think? Or are you going to mainly be riding some local trails? Local trails. We've been to Welsh... No, what's that? Bike Park Wales. Bike Park Wales. Pretty mellow, I think, to begin with. Yeah, yeah brilliant. Yeah, 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 so like the greens, the blues at Bike exactly, Park Wales. Yeah. I've done a red as well. But... Yeah, have yeah, I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have done oh, a red. Oh, I've done a red. So, no, yeah. so, um, so you'll be after something that's good for starting out on, but also something you can progress and into. And not too big a budget. And... Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, OK, so... What sort of budget are you looking at, do we reckon, Dad? 1,500 quid, is that what you reckon? Get, that'll get you a very nice Would it? mountain bike. I, mean, I have no real idea, very, if I'm honest. What We would say that between £1,000 and £1,500, you'll get a very good entry-level mountain bike, okay. but one that you're not going to grow out, out of too quickly. <laughs> There's no chance at <laughs> <that> in my <laughs> age. Yeah, OK. Not growth-wise, I meant, not, not height-wise, uh, but progression. Like, like, progression right, wise. OK. So you, you don't want to buy something that in, in two years' time, you're going to feel like you've out-progressed oh, it I've and that you'll need another bike. You, you, know, you want right. to buy something that's, that's Good for for starting out, but that will also handle some some progression. Right, once it gets a bit better. And, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So All right. We well, shall we have a little look at a few different bikes then? Got some lovely options in stock. Phil, have you? We've talked about where you're going to be riding, and um, the next question is: Have you thought about whether or not you want a hardtail mountain bike or a full suspension mountain bike? Well, if I'm honest, I haven't really thought about it. Okay. I mean, obviously, I know what the difference is, but riding-wise, what advantages and disadvantages, should we say? That's fine, yeah. So I think a, a good place to start is, obviously, I know what sort of trails you're going to be riding. And um, for, for that and for also getting into mountain biking, there's, there's great value in having a hardtail bike. For, for what, though? And that is because, in a way, it, it, it teaches you more about how to ride a bike. You, you, you're relying less on the suspension and more on learning okay. how to move your body in the correct ways to handle certain types of terrain. So there's, there's a good argument to say a hardtail is, is the better bike to start off on your journey of mountain biking on for the first maybe year or two. Okay. To, 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 to ride a hardtail will, will potentially give you better technique for the for the future of your your riding career. But and what would the price difference be, say, from a budget hard to uh, hard to, which I guess that's budget. So around a thousand uh, pounds for a good mountain bike hardtail. You can obviously get a cheaper mountain bike. You can get one five hundred quid if you want, but it's it's not really going to be up to up to the the harshness of the riding these yeah. days. Um, so and what uh, would a budget full suspension one be? You're looking about two and a half to three thousand pounds. Oh, are you? So it's a fair bit more. Again, you can get. A much cheaper full suspension bike. We don't recommend it because the quality is then not up to scratch. Again, yep. you can get a full suspension bike for, for, for a thousand pounds or so, but we don't feel that it's quite strong enough to, to last that longevity. So, a good quality full suspension bike, we say two and a half thousand to, to three thousand yeah. pounds. Yeah, so a fair bit more than your entry level hardtail at a thousand. Right. And what sort of like front travel do you have, say, would you need? Suspension travel. I don't think is as important when you're starting out as, say, getting a good geometry bike. So 
travel can vary anywhere between sort of generally on 130 to 160 mil travel, right. depending on what brand and, and, and style of bike you go for. Um, starting out, we'd say you're, you're better off looking at something with a really good geometry. And if the travel is somewhere in that region, then it's, it's, it's probably going to be pr a pretty good bike. Um, the the Nuke Proof Scout is 150 or 140 mil travel. That's going to be plenty for the sort of riding you're doing. So, Phil, I think a good place to start is okay. going to be looking at the hardtail mountain bike for yourself, yep. the type of riding you're going to be doing, and something that you're going to really benefit from learning on, as I was saying, a hardtail over a full suspension. You're, you're going to learn better technique, and that will serve you better in the future. OK. Um, so I'd like to show you this Marin to start off with. And is um, that a well-known brand, Marin? Absolutely, yeah. Yep. Californian brand. OK. Uh, they were leading the, the mountain bike world in the 90s okay, with, so been around with some, some time. cracking mountain bikes and they've gone from strength to strength uh, ever, okay. ever, ever since. So this is the Marin Bobcat Trail. It's just under a thousand pounds, 985. Okay. And it's a cracking first mountain bike to get you into the sport and hopefully get you hooked on the trails. And um, I'll put it out so okay, that'd be good. we can uh, have a little look. So a bit below budget, but this sort of thing is a great entry-level mountain bike that will also handle some future progression. It's lightweight, it's got an aluminium frame. Ooh, no weight to it, is it really? Hydraulic disc brakes, um, nice modern progressive geometry, so nice wide handlebars, nice long reach on that, 29-inch um, wheels should should do the job. For, and how many for gears, sort of sorry, did you say? That is an 11 speed, but with a big range cassette on there, so plenty of range for all the hills. Okay, not Sturmy Archer. It's not a Sturmy Archer. Okay. <laughs> and um, so that's one option that's around the 900 and... 900 and what is this? 985, so just okay. under a thousand pounds. Brilliant, great value bike from Marin. The other one that I want to show you is this bike above us here, which is the Nuke Proof Scout. And that is, is one of the most popular entry-level mountain bikes of the last three years, I'd say. It's a little bit more pricey. That looks slightly small for me, though, compared to... Is that just because the saddle's lower, or...? They're both a medium. Is it just...? Okay. They're actually both a medium. The, 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 the frame size is a bit smaller here. It's a bit, bit lower standover height. Right. Um, but they're both a medium. And in that respect, I think they're both going to be a little bit small for you. You are six foot, are you? Six foot spot on, six yeah. Six foot on the dot. Yep. So we'll start by looking at the manufacturer's recommendations as to which bike size they recommend for your okay. height. That's a good place to start, but it's not the best way to indoor. get sized up on the bike. The best way to do it is to sit you on a bike, to take you out for a test ride, okay. and to see how that bike works for you. Because despite the manufacturer's recommendations, people, they often just go on height, and people with different leg lengths, different arm lengths, different torso yep. lengths, okay. they, they will end up potentially being just out of their size range of, of bikes. So the best way is to come in the local bike shop, to sit on the bike, to take it out for a test ride. So size-wise, yeah, we'll try you out on a couple okay. and, and, yeah, and get a test good. ride done. Um, these are both mediums. I think we're going to we're going to try you on a large and, and see how that goes. We'll take you for a test ride up the local park, and, okay. um, and and go from there. Really, the Nuke Proof Scout is one thousand three hundred and ninety nine pounds. So we're talking okay. a few hundred pounds more. Um, weight than wise, the is it much different? Similar in weight. I can I can get it down and we can okay. give that a little feel. I just need to unlock it. Yep, that'd be good. Um, okay, Phil, I've got another one to show you here. Okay, this nice is our, color. Entry level full suspension from Marin. Okay, and as, as much as I was saying, you know, light, that you'll, you'll learn well on a hardtail, you'll also learn really well on one of these. Um, if you can stretch a little bit of extra budget, then right. there may be good value in, in going for a full suspension straight away. A bit more future proof. You, you might find that in a year's time you, you've ridden the hardtail a lot, you're riding some rougher trails at Bike Park Wales and everybody else are on full sussers and you can't keep up with them and there's, there's, you, know, you might find yourself wanting a full suspension in a year okay. or two. So, um, you know, at two and a half thousand pounds, it's a brilliant mountain bike that's good to learn on but also good for, for future use. And, um, you know, the, the rear suspension does smooth out a lot of the, the trail chatter, okay. a lot of that stuff that's harsh on the body, harsh on the knees. Well, you that's might me. I've got two new it, knees, so yeah. yeah. You might find it more pleasurable in, in certain situations on the rougher terrain. And is this the same size frame as the other one? Um, so that's a large, and that, I would say, is, is more suited to you. Okay. Being large for around the six-foot rider is going to be perfect. The other one was a medium, so we, we would look at trying you out on a medium and a large and 
the test ride tells all. You know, we can talk talk in the shop for hours about which one is is right for you, but the, the taking you out on a test ride is the telltale sign of, of, of um, us looking at you side on on the bike, riding alongside you, seeing how you feel on that bike. There's there's nothing that can replace that experience yeah. really. Of, so of so is this an 11 speed as well? That is an 11 speed, big range on that cassette. So again. But I notice it's got this, this sort of saddle goes up and down. Drop a seat post. Yeah. So you press this little button here. Ah, uh, okay. And that's your downhill riding position. That's your uphill riding position, seated pedaling. And you want the saddle to get out the way for when you're zoomed okay. down. The the zoom, bike. zoom, we're a bit, a bit rash when you say zoom, bike but yeah. Park Wales. <laughs> as much as I like the thought of maybe going straight to a full suspension, I think budget wide and not sure how I'm going to, how often I'm going to use it, it often, I would rather stick to more of the, uh, the hardtail. entry level I think that's, hardtail. that's a wise decision and um, see how you like it. Yeah and uh, go from there. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Let's look at the hardtail again then. Good, so yeah, this is the medium okay. here. Luckily, I've got a large out the back ready and built up for, for a test ride, so uh, oh, I'll go and lovely. grab that and we'll, we'll try you out on the large. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, so we lent you a helmet and we okay. can take, take you down to the local park. That'd and give be good. This, this, this one a spin, see how the size feels. I can look at you riding it and, and, and make an assessment from there as to whether or not we've got the right size. All right, let's, right, go. let's go. Can you open the door for me? <sighs> Thank you very much. <coughs> so we're back from our test ride. Thank you very much. How did that feel? Uh, that felt fine. A little bit low, this saddle, if anything. Yeah. But, yeah. A lot easier to ride than I thought it would be. Brilliant. Yeah, that's, uh, I think that's, that's the right size for you. Large for six foot is, is pretty much bang on. And, um, yeah, we can do a future upgrade of a dropper seat post like we saw on the, the full suspension Marin, the seat post that okay. moves up and down with the switch of a lever. So this can be converted, is that it what you It can indeed, oh, right. yeah, okay. yeah. So you might want to start off like that and a, 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 a nice, reasonably affordable upgrade in the near future could be a dropper post and, and make that bike a lot more fun. And are all sad what about next saddles? I always struggle with saddles. Are they all the sort of same shape? Because no. my road bike has what's called a love channel. Oh yeah, love channel. So as my bits and bobs don't get damaged. Fantastic. Well, you can definitely change the saddle on that. We can find something that's a bit more comfortable. Often the off-the-shelf saddle might not be the most comfortable. Some they're pretty good, right, but okay. um, we can definitely some find something that, that suits your your body shape a bit better. All right. Okay, that was good. So servicing going forwards depends a lot on how much you ride the bike. We recommend that if it's uh, uh, leisure ride once every couple of weeks, you're going to need to get that serviced once a year minimum. If you're riding it a bit more regularly, once every six months. And you should expect, you know, bikes have wearing parts yeah. and, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not unreasonable to expect to spend a few hundred pounds a year on servicing okay. your bike for sure. All right. It's nice to know the budget for more than anything. Yeah. All right. Thanks for that. And I'll be back. Great stuff. Cheers. Well, there we go then, Dad. That was quite insightful, it wasn't was. it? It was. Very useful. Very yeah? useful. Do you feel like you've come away with some good knowledge? Sam seems to know really what he was on he about. He certainly, you know, coming to a local bike shop, you certainly have someone who knows all different ranges, styles. Yeah, nice. the range. All right, people, let, let us know what you thought in the comments down below. If you're looking to buy your first only nice bike. Only nice comments. <laughs> then let my, myself and Dan know, because he likes to know as well. He's quite nosy, but we're out of here. So that's the pains for now. Gone. See you later. A good boy from me and it's a good boy from him. <laughs>